uh, uh, might want to wait for new patches like the Lego and Target. Uh, the Knights jersey play topside at 32, uh, the grand final. Uh, plus, um, Mayweather Carlton is off to the Newcastle uh, Home to Rugby Union grand final. That's up next. <coughs> My own win to Newcastle Rugby League Grand Final. The Knights jersey played top side off to the Grand Final after after beating the Sydney Roosters in a huge victory. And Mayweather Carlton through to the Hunter Rugby Union Grand Final. But first tonight, Maitland has won the 2022 Newcastle Rugby League Grand Final, beating the Macquarie Scorpions 40 points to 4. Jaden Butterfield claimed man for match in a game the Pickers dominated as Mitchell Hughes explained. Leaning in the decider, some early push and shove saw Royce Jeffrey on report. A few minutes later, Brock Lamb was hit late, and from the ensuing scuffle, Jeffrey was sent to the bin. Lamb converted the penalty to make it 2-0 to Maitland. The minor premiers produced desperate defence to deny Macquarie's Kerrit Holland the opening try. Instead, it was a great run by Lincoln Smith that set up Lamb for the first four-pointer. A few minutes later, Lamb returned the favour, offloading to Jaden Butterfield as the pickers made it 14-0. Just before halftime, the Storks finally gave their fans something to cheer about as Dean Morris fought his way over. <laughs> Leading 14-4, Maitland edged further in front shortly after the break as Chad O'Donnell put Reed Alchin into a gap. The Pickers were on their way to the title when Alchin crashed over for a double. Skipper Alex Langridge got in on the axe, darting over from dummy half to make it 30 points to four. But the pickers weren't done yet. Smith set up Lamb for his second try. Matt Soper Lawler put the icing on the cake, taking an intercept inside his own 20 before running away to score. For Maitland, the Premiership was the culmination of three years of hard work. Such a good feeling now. It's a relief. It's been three years in the making for us. Um, you know, to finally get the opportunity today and perform the way we did, um, you know, we're, we're super proud. To the NSWRL and the Newcastle Knights have sealed their spots in the 2022 Jersey Flag Cup Grand Final, just holding on after facing a second half onslaught to defeat the Sydney Roosters 24-22 yesterday afternoon. A spot in the Grand Final up for grabs and it is one versus two in Jersey Flag. It was a game the Knights certainly had to win and certainly to go through. But first the Roosters started off with a try at their line. Before the Knights fought back after that. Off the scrum, we saw a shootout between the fullbacks in the first game of the day. And all signs are we're going to see another one here. Apples in hand, flat ball, on a pua, it comes loose. Both teams won six all. And the referee says it came loose au naturel. Henderson. And of course, the Knights had to break their deadlock. 
after that and score their second try. For Newcastle and other players, though. The goal converter was as successful. 12 6. And of course, their third try. Johnson drew and passed. Beautiful football from the Knights. The Knights now led 16 to 6. They now led 18 6. And also, the amount of running became huge for Newcastle. Also, because of it, both tries became enough. As the last try for Newcastle was scored. Absolutely sensational from the Newcastle Knights. We thought they might be happy just to finish it up, but they had other thoughts. And it was a wonderful little slip by O'Brien. They keep going. With the Knights leading 24 to 6, the Roosters thought they had a they had a comeback in the second half. But that all failed. He's got it down at the very last. Now a chance for Sabala into open space. The Roos is on on only 10 points. Good news for the Knights. They won 24. Try in the corner. Karama Lebu. That is gorgeous. The fight was on to go through to the grand final. Keeps it going central. Puts it over. Deep now to Donahoe and Henderson. But go to the sky again. Pizza or fancy this again. He goes up. He couldn't keep it in. The ball goes dead. They will go out to the 20. Short main whacked. Henderson again. So this try from the Roosters was not enough. Short little ball. Set play. Front row is over. Ponder Pua scores. And thankfully, the Knights' successful performance was enough for Newcastle to go through to the Jersey Flag Cup Grand Final. Last tackle. Mossman will go high. He'll put some pressure on Pietzner here. Pietzner can hear the footsteps. Pietzner gets a whack from Stringer and he grounds the ball in goal. There will be blow-ups here from the Knights. There's a penalty to the Roosters. They're going to take the kick. Well, 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 well. It's a high tackle. There was a penalty in the back play. The Roosters, with zero seconds left and a two-point gap, have a kick from 45 out just to the right to save this and send it to extra time. The last play of regular time. The last play of the game if it misses. What's the try mark? Kick it and it's extra time. Miss it. And it's the prelim. He slips. He's got a good bit of it. It's dropping short. It's no goal. It's thrown dead. The Knights do win now. At the second time of asking, they do win now. But the Knights now having the week off. It will be 24-22. There will be no miracle. And because of that, that it's was the enough Knights for the Knights. Who it became enough the for the Knights' final. Jersey flag cup side to go Penrith through to the grand final. And everybody will need to take a breath and have a glass of water after that. It will be an all Lake Macquarie affair in the AFL Hunter Central Coast uh, uh, women's Black Diamond Plate. As Lake Macquarie are through to the grand final alongside the Cardiff Hawks after Lake Macquarie defeated Newcastle City in yesterday's preliminary final, 40 points to 21. It's still on Hunter Rugby Union and in the women's competition and in the first week of the finals, the Wanderers and the Hamilton Hawks were forced to share the points at 5 all, while Maitland demolished the Waratahs 28 0. <coughs> Newcastle Olympic has secured a win over Charlestown Azuri in week one of the, new co- of the, of the Hunters' MPL. Um, men's competition finals. 
The 1-0 victory was huge for Newcastle Olympic, who were just too strong for their rivals. Meanwhile, in, meanwhile in the other one, the elimination final, uh, uh, the Broadmeadow Magic officially ended the Lansing Gaffers season with a huge victory. While on the last, while on the last round of the Women's Premier League, Warners Bay were too strong for Adamstown to secure a victorious win. Andrews, Andrews looking for Konjaski, Konjaski, oh she's found the goals, Konjaski, Of course, Warners Bay led 6 0. Warners Bay was tracking over. She was laughing and saying to her bench, I don't think I can get there. Love to see it. Well, yeah, definitely not long to play now. Why well, Adamstown only had their only goal. They pitch one right at the kick that uh, required a save from Borcher and Borcher. Meanwhile, in the other games, uh, Board Meadow secured a 3 1 win over Newcastle Olympic, while Charlestown outclassed at the mid coast. And also, um, Maitland secured a win over New Lambton. Coming up after the break, we'll have more local sport from across northern New South Wales. Keep it going, we wanna keep 
Bears are looking to bounce back in Group 4 Rugby League's preliminary final after a nail-biting 16-12 loss to Dungawin. Up against the Maui Boars, North Tamworth expects is in for another tough match. With three tries apiece, last week's major semi was decided purely on conversions. We scored a couple in the corner and made it harder on ourselves. The clash, one of only three losses the Bear faced all season. I think we just got to be better uh, with our discipline. I think we've got to earn the right to play a bit of footy rather than just expecting calls to go our way. Looking forward to tomorrow's game against Maury Boars. In previous matchups, the sides have taken a victory each, both on their respective home grounds. They've had wins against uh, all, all top four teams uh, in the last last month. Um, you know, they're, they're hard, they're, they're quick, uh, very skillful. The focus of training this week has been on taking the Bears back to their strengths. High completion. Uh, and then, uh, you know, deep kick and, and, and focus on, uh, you know, on good defensive sets. So uh, we've fallen away from that in the last, last month, but uh, we'll, we'll certainly be looking to get back to that. Staying focused, a consistent and committed 80 minutes will be key to staying in the running for the Premiership. If we can do the little things well and, and do it for, you know, for 80 minutes, we'll, we'll certainly uh, be in the hunt for, the, for that win. The Bulls will make the trip down to face the Bears at Jack Wollaston Oval at 2.45 tomorrow. Grace Nicholson, NBN News. Uh, St Albert's College has, has had a clean sweep, claiming four New England Rugby Union Premierships across four grades. The first grade wrapped up grand final day with a 27-5 win over the Barbarians. After failed penalty goals from both sides, William Gordon finally put points on the board for St Albert's. They kept the pressure on, scoring out of a ruck to also claim the first try. The Barbar's defence was strong. But Ben Grant managed to make light work of it, extending the LB's lead to 15-0 at half-time. The tries just kept coming for the Elbies, with Hamish Brown crossing for five. And kicking into play, it was a one-man job, again from Brown, well and truly securing the win for Elbies. The Barbarians took possession and a try by Edward Pitt. But it was St Albert's day, the club taking victory after victory. Beat that hasn't been seen since 1996. The rewrite history looks like that. Oh, it's icing on the cake for me, that's for sure. Captain Lachlan Elworthy, full of respect for the opposition. They've always been knocking on our door, um, and I'm just glad that we didn't let them do that, and we and we could come through with the final one. Grace Nicholson, NBN News. Group 3 Rugby League and the Wingham Tigers have defeated the Foster Tunkari Hawks in the minor semi final, 14 points to 12. While in the major semi final, the Old Bar Pirates have defeated the Port City Breakers, 28 to 24. Wollombar, Orsonville's Far North Coast Rugby Union. Premiership dream remains alive following a blockbuster preliminary final against or odds an understrength pioneer side defeated the Lennox Head Trojans by 16 points. After a slow start, Wallingbar suffered an early blow. Lloyd Morgan sent off with a red card in the 15th minute forcing the team to play out the remainder of the game with 14 players, the Trojans eventually capitalising thanks to Jared Lofts. <laughs> the Pioneers then given a penalty, notching up their first points of the game. Just before half-time, James Vidler jumped over the line. Successful conversion meant the Pioneers were just one point in front of the Trojans at half-time. Lennox Head's Jed Windle was able to slip through a gap in War's defence. 
with the Trojans on 14 points, Wallingbar fired up with this try from Blake Henderson. And again with a spectacular try from Bodie Smith. And a conversion. Then a penalty kick from Sam Kerry from almost 50 metres out cemented their lead, sending the crowd wild. One last effort confirmed their grand final dreams had come true. Winning the match 30-14, to 14, knocking the Trojans out of the competition. They'll now go up against the Bangalore Rebels this Saturday at Kingsford Smith Oval. Josephine Shannon, NBN News. Yeah, just a wonderful amount of finals. Anyway, that's it for now. And don't forget, I'll be back later tonight. See you then. And from all of us here, and don't forget, um, make sure you have an early good morning.